Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can fetch all the Shopify products. And once we get all the products, we will tag them one by one using a Shopify admin API with the help of Node.js. So let's go to the code and type app.get. We need to define a route. So products, then callback function request and response. In callback function, we are going to add a for loop, which will we will copy from from their Shopify API dash node module. So let's copy this function and paste that here. What it is doing? It is looping through all the products uh, with the with the pagination. And right now the limit is 10. Let's make it 250. And now in each iteration, it will grab 250 products. So how many products we have? Let's check that. Slash count slash dot JSON. We have 2039, uh, 739 products. So we are going to grab all these products. So we are not going to log them we will write all these products in the json file so for that we need to add a module here const first require fs and before that we need to define some variables so let json products we need an empty array so we can push all the products in this array then we need a total of the products so total products so we can count the products right now let's add zero here and we need a x variable one so once we reach the 2739 limit we can write all these products in a json file so over here we need to type total products plus is equal to products dot length so each uh, in each iteration it will add the uh, length of the product in this variable then uh, console dot log products total products total products and total products so we can see that in the console then we need to look through all the products so we can grab the required data so products dot for each and here we will define product and index and in each iteration we are going to push the data json in a json product array dot push and here we will say we need an index so we we will know how many products we have in index we can pass x and id product dot id and then tags would be product dot tags after that we need a condition here if x is equal to is equal to 2739 then we are going to write the file in a json so for that we need fs dot write file sync and then we will give the name of the file and we can say product dot product dot json and then json json dot stringify so we will pass the json products array here and then need to type null and four here and then callback function if we get any error we will console log that console dot log all right 
and after that we will console dot log products are fetched successfully okay and we need to x plus plus here so let's try that and go to the browser and localhost slash hit the url products and products okay we need to add a products here so now try again and if you see we have 250 products in first iteration then 5 100 then 750 then 1000 and 1500 750 1750 and and once we reach the limit to understand we get the message products are fetched successfully and now go back here in the and you will see we have a product.json and we have the product id and tags now with the help of these product ids we can add the tags in the product so let's do that we need to define a new route tam dot get slash update and then callback function request response and first we need to get uh, read this product.json file for that we need uh, variable products is equal to json dot parse we need to parse through into json fs dot read file sync and then the name of the file products dot json utf8 now we have the products array now we need to loop through that products dot for each <coughs> for each and then in for each uh, function we are going to define how uh, we are going to pass product and then index in that and then uh, here we are going to make IPA call Shopify dot product dot update and in the update we are going to pass product.id and then we will pass the tags tags would be tags so let tags is equal to product.tags and here we are going to add a new tag so tags would be plus equal to tags and then uh, uh, we need to add a new tag here like uh, comma 2023 new tags demo tag tags whatever you want to add a new tags so it will include the previous tag as well as the new tags so we are going to pass over here then and then so start to next slide then product and in the product we are going to console log products 
let's make template string product dot tag product dot title tags updated successfully and then and in the case of error catch error with console.log error now we need to uh, give some delay so we will make sure each product is updated successfully so set timeout at time timeout function and in that function we will open here close that here and we'll pass index one tip nine thousand here so now let's try that and go to update url and then if you see in the console these products are being updated so every two seconds each product is being updated let's wait for a few the few products and then we will see them in the admin so now go to the admin click on the products and then we need to sort out the updated one and the newest first reload that page and click on this product and as you can see we have a new tag 2023 new tags and demo tags and if you go to products again and filter the products again updated newest first and if you see this product now you have the new tags so this is how you can update the tags with shopify admin api by using node.js